Okay, so I am making this video to help you calibrate your blue light separation machine from forward. And as you can see here, these are my numbers on my first run. I haven't done anything to the machine. This is the way it came. 106.000 on the X and on the Y, 48.800. Let me see if I can bring you back to how we got here. So that's your initial screen. You're going to click on settings. And then you're going to click on center because you want to center it. You're going to type the password that they gave you. So the password that you should have is 101515. 101. Five one five. Hit the check mark. And that's how you get to this screen. So you already know what you have. If you've already done your first run like we did, I'll bring you over here. This is what we have. So looking at it straight on, it looks like it's a little off here. There's more black here right on the edge. And there's more white over on this side okay so here you can see it's all black then you can see some white there so let me go over that in just a minute first of all before I explain this I wanted to give a big shout out to Brian from wholesale gadget parts he's the one that sent me the literature and I'm gonna try to explain it as simple as possible so you kind of understand what's going on. So you need to understand first this axis right here. You have your Y and your X. If you don't know which is which, a simple way to rem remember it is Y in the sky and X to the left. So your X is going to run left and right. Your Y is going to run up and down. So looking at the machine, your Y is going to run this way, okay, and your X is going to run this way. That's important that you know that because like that you know how to actually calibrate this. So these numbers are just examples. The numbers run infinite, just like you see the numbers here. They're 106 and 48. So 106 being your X, okay, and your Y being the 48. They're infinite, even though our example, our sample here on the whiteboard just shows up to five. And if you notice, on the X, you have this side is positive, this side is negative. On the Y, same thing. This side is positive, this side is negative. So you're gonna imagine your glass plate there and you have to think okay I already got it etched and I can see where I need it to be and it's actually better if you see it on a blue background where do I need to go okay so on your Y which is up and down remember just like I drew it here on your Y I would say it needs to go up probably 0 0.10 and it's also good to have a centimeter ruler because you can put it on there and kind of get an idea and say okay 0 0.10 then on the X which way do you need to go notice how it's white here and almost no white here it needs to go this way so if it needs to go this way and it needs to go that way look at the difference here if it needed to go this way you need to subtract if you need to go this way you need to add so we're going to add and we're going to add if yours needs to go this way or this way, then you need to subtract. So I'm going to add 0 0.10 and 0 0.10 on the X and also on the Y. I'd rather do it that way, just to take small incremental changes, just so you don't go bananas, okay? Go slow. They should give you plenty of these. You should have 15. You might need only about, you know, four or five or six maybe, but... If, if you're getting past four or five and it's making it worse and it's you need to ask for some help okay don't try to do this by yourself 
So going by the literature that I got from Brian, which will explain this to you. You see that? That the X is left and right, and the Y is up and down, just like I drew it. And the calibration here is what would be a perfect calibration. You see the red lines everywhere. Obviously yours is going to be black. And I highlighted this, and again, Brian, thank you very much. This is really, really awesome. And I highlighted on the sentences what would happen. The image below is an example of the X axis, okay, being this way, remember, being off slightly. You would need to adjust the X axis by increasing the number by about 0 0.5. You see how it's really off here? And over here, the image below is an example of the Y axis, okay, up and down being off slightly you would need to adjust the y-axis by increasing because remember you're going up you're going up that's positive by about point zero point five millimeters so we're gonna go ahead and try this out and we're gonna document it because according to what I have I'm going to add point one zero this way and that way it's right here okay so before we adjust our machine based on what we have here I went ahead and consulted with Brian and Leo from forward and it is best that I try 0 .200 now what does that mean to you that means that on both of these here this one's going to be 106.200 this is going to be 49.000 so what does that mean the this number 2 is 2 tenths of a millimeter now look at the ruler here from the beginning of the ruler to that first line that's a millimeter so imagine 10 hairlines between the beginning of the ruler and that first line. So two tenths of that is what we're doing here. That's what we're adding to this and that's what we're going to add to this. So keep that in mind. It is not it is not two millimeters. I can't stress this enough. I think this is where most people are going to make a mistake. It is not this. Okay? Because if you imagine adding two millimeters to this, that's not going to cut it. This black line will be completely off the board. Look at that. Okay? So if you understand that in your head, that this is two tenths of a millimeter, okay? Not two millimeters. And that's why you want to keep one of these rulers around. I think it'll be a good investment to have it around just so you can understand in your head what you're going to do. So we're going to add 0 0.200 to both your X and your Y. So this is going to be the first time I'm doing this. So I do re recommend that you take a picture and keep this on your device, on your phone or whatever, because if you happen to mess this up, you know where you were at the beginning, okay? And then you know where you were. So try to document as much some people have a list but if you want to take a picture that's fine so remember we're going to add 0 0.200 we'll start first with our X so it will be the new number will be 106.200 you just tap on it and remember we're going to type it like brand new number 106 point two zero zero we have the check mark remember before it was 106.000 now if we add point two zero zero to forty eight point eight zero zero it'll be a whole number forty nine point zero 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 now tap that forty nine point zero 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 check mark and then this is extremely important you want to hit confirm you don't hit 
confirm. It's not going to work now. We can get out of here. Once you've made your adjustments, you're going to go to carving, and then you're going to go to the next page and just press the forward file. Carving figures, you're going to hit figures. Make sure everything's ready inside. Hit figures, and let's wait. Alrighty, so I'm going to recommend that you write down with permanent marker on these plates first run, second run, etc. Also, if you notice, I have the X and the Y axis written down, and I use different color permanent markers just so I can visualize it. My Y and my X, my X is in blue, and it's in blue here, and the Y is in black, etc. So we added 0.200 to both of these original numbers. Remember this is the number from the factory and as a result this uh, 48.8 became a 49 whole number and the 106 became a 106.200 which you'll see here now. Okay, That's the numbers I have on my machine right now. Actually let me take you to it so you can see them. Okay, And as a result this is the plate we got. This is our second run and what I see from just off the bat is that here I was right probably a little bit too much to the left and showing too much white here now I have this part here I have a little bit of white which I didn't before I have a little bit of white there I mean I might just be on the money you know I'll have to see because when you look at it from the top it looks like this line is almost completely black this is straight at the top the camera can be tricky and then straight from the top there's a little bit of white so this being my X now I'm gonna subtract 0 0.050 and then on my Y which is up and down you can see where it is there now I have a little bit more white showing on the bottom before on my first run I had the white showing at the top and this being like too much over here now it's kinda like the opposite so maybe what I should have done instead of reducing or adding 0 .200 originally I should have just added to my up and down which is my Y I should have just added uh, 1 0 0 and that's why now I'm going to subtract 0 0.100 from that number and now I'm going to subtract 0 0.050 from that number okay so I'm going to do that on the machine give it a third run and then just we'll probably have another plate here and see where we're at you know but uh, it does take a little bit of concentration and a little bit of patience and maybe you might want to show it to someone that works with you or a friend or a spouse and see what they think and hopefully that can help you get it right where it needs to be okay hopefully this is starting to make sense to you I hope it's taken me a little while but I can't, if you understand the concept you'll be fine so I'm understanding the concept so our X 106.200 we're gonna subtract from that 106.200.050. 0 .050. So that's going to be 106.150. 106.150. 0 .150, okay? So let's press that and do it. 106.1. Oops. 0.150. Zero. I'm going to hit OK hit the check. You can see that. And then this, it's we're going to subtract 0 0.100. So if we subtract it from there, it will bring us to 48.900. Okay. So let's do that. 48. Point nine 
zero, zero. I'm not going to bore you to death, so I'm going to run the machine and we'll see the next plate. All right, all right, I think I got it. So here we are. One thing you want to look at is that little diamond in the center. And kind of make sure that your all your inner edges are about the same size. And I pretty much got that everywhere, even before I started shooting this video. I was double checking that. And sometimes it's the angle of the camera, but anyway, it's right on the money. I think. I don't know, I may be wrong. And I'm gonna send this I'm gonna send a picture to Brian at Wholesale Gadget Parts because he's very knowledgeable. And shout out to him because he's he's definitely got the way to to educate you on this. He sent me a, a file that was very helpful. He's a very straightforward and helpful guy. So thanks Brian. And as you can see, it's I mean it's really good all around. I don't see too much of a deviation on it. It's nice and, and uniform. So I'm also going to ask Leo at Forward for his take on it, but it looks like we're good to go. Excellent. If you have any questions or comments, please post it below. And like I said, one thing that's really going to be beneficial to you is having one of these centimeter rulers. Remember, Remember, I'm going to bring back my first run here. These numbers, that 800 is 8 tenths of a millimeter. Okay? That's not 8 millimeters, it's 8 tenths of a millimeter. So, this will help you because if from the edge of the ruler to the first line is 1 millimeter, 8 tenths of that. Okay, it would almost be a whole tenth, but it's eight tenths, okay? So it's important that you know that if you don't understand it or if you're just your brain just is exploding, ask for help. That's what I did. I'm not an expert on it, but it took me three runs to get it done. So if if your third or fourth run you notice things are getting worse, remember, ask for help. But you can see the difference from my very first run right there to where we are now, where it's just uniform everywhere. And the diamond in the center kind of helps you also. So take a look at that. And if you have any questions or comments, post it below. I'm sure others might be able to help you as well.